last week the scorecard of csir net came more or less it was a litmus test which told 99% among you that you have failed and many of you with a heavy heart have been messaging me on my phone or in whatsapp saying what should i do next i'm heartbroken i tried everything but i failed and uh, should i instead go for a job or should i prepare again or wa- and waste time because if i don't qualify again it will be a wastage of time so i thought of addressing that question for all of you so that you have a mental clarity but at the same time i would like to answer this question mathematically also okay so another thing is if you watch this video till the end i'll give you a decision making pdf as well as a planner for csir net which you can use in your preparation if in case you want to. let's come to the question and now that we have the result in our hands and we know that we have not qualified should i try again or should i go for a job or should i prepare while i am in the job so mathematically speaking first i will answer this question right now anybody who has secured above 90 percentile okay above 90 percentile it is a no brainer if you just do some 1 percent changes in how you prepare per day you will qualify 100 percent okay it is like suppose you all are in a queue okay so the 99 percentile is standing then 98 97 like that all of you are standing right so these guys have moved forward they have qualified so next in line is you only so you will move forward right yes agreed that there might be some smart people who might jump in from 66 percentile to 99 percentile that is possible but logically speaking you are standing next right so the 99 percentile have qualified so the next person in line is you so you will obviously qualify if you just do some changes in how you prepared last time okay and not just that you have to listen to the strategies which i am giving you okay and many of the strategies i am not disclosing on youtube i am directly giving to my students and if you want a personalized counseling now you can get that also with me you can directly sit with me and talk to me in whatsapp or zoom and i can guide you on that so more about that a little later but yeah this is a mathematical logic for those who have scored about 90 90 percent either now you will like sir my score is in between 50 to 90 not above 90 so what should i do should i go for a job or should i write again my suggestion to you is keep preparing don't stop okay why should you not stop is because see if without preparation or whatever preparation you did you could achieve whatever you have achieved say 66 percentile you have achieved or 80 percent whatever you marks you have achieved that you did on your own right now you need a little bit of push which you can obviously take from biotechnica's laksh batch which is starting from 15th of february that push you will get and that will lead to success and this time we are solving 25000 question in the next 12 months so yeah you can think about that but now let's come to this fact that sir my family financials are such that i don't have food to eat also then i cannot prepare right of course if that is the case if you are economically weak your family is weak you need to support you can always do a job and side by side you can prepare but think about it others are not doing that others are dedicatedly preparing for this exam for the next 6 months so they will have a faster speed than you your speed will slow down so think about it now coming to the rest of the people who have secured in between 10 percentile to 50 percentile okay so if your marks is in between 10 to 50 percentile my suggestion is either you did not study and you wrote the exam just like that casually or you took the training from a wrong teacher which has led to this situation or you did not do proper self study so find out that uh, you know you have to find out and tell me in the comment section what exactly is the reason but yeah that could be the reason or you know you prepared well and in the exam you can conf- got confused you got stressed out and you marked the wrong questions more of negative marking this might be the cases or you just wrote the exam casually just to get the experience yeah five reasons but whatever might be the reason if the sixth reason is there then you must quit preparing now itself okay the sixth reason is if you prepared well and still you could not secure above 50 percentile either you should quit the preparing for the exam or you must take coaching at biotechnica because 
it doesn't look like after so much of preparation you could not get above 50 percentile you need to take the self study module you need to take the part c module you need to practice as many questions you need to go through the theory part okay now coming to those who are in between 0 to 10 percent why why are you even writing why are you doing joke instead go do some job if you're not serious if you're serious come back we will guide you okay this is about the mathematics part the slots wise but now the logic which i'm going to give you will open your eyes aapke gyan ke chakshu your mental eyes are about to open and that reason is if you are thinking that to do a job you can get a job any day anywhere in any company i will get you that that's a guarantee but after the age limit is crossed 28 years for male 33 years for female and for some reserved category 33 once that age limit is gone you can never ever write csr net for a jrf you can only write for ls okay and if you write for ls you cannot do phd correct funded phd you cannot do you will have to look for funds and that will be like you know you will become a slave of the pi instead if you command your fellowship from the central government nobody can you know deny that to you and you will be able to do your phd comfortably right so think about it job you can get any day just today morning 11:31 girl walked into my office she is um, a known person to me so she wanted a personalized guidance i said okay come i asked her what happened she said, sir i want to do a job because i failed in csr and i said why if you want to do a job any day i can get you a job right but if you if your age limit is crossed you cannot write the exam think about that okay now here is another aspect which you should consider suppose you are in a bad financial situation right it is there for right now right another 6 months or 12 months or maybe one year it will go away even csr net also improves your financial situation by giving you 25 30 lakhs fellowship right and you get a chance to do the degree phd right but in case worst case scenario you are not able to okay you can join some coaching institute and teach csr net, net itself or maybe you can do some part time job okay maybe in some company part time or work from home job i have listed so many jobs on youtube uh, biotechnica youtube channel you can check right part time you work part time you study okay but you have to know this that there is a queue the 99 percentilers have come out of the door the next in the queue is 98 97 96 95 all these people are there now you are sitting on 66 from 66 if you have to jump if you have to fly to 99 then you have to take a flight and that flight my dear friend is called as technology no i'm not asking about uh, you know any modern technology just age old methodology to improve your memory sharpen your skill comprehension skill linguistic skill do you know what is the situation in part c they are having only five types of questions okay five types of questions time traps language traps uh, concept traps and then there there are a mixed conceptual they'll mix uh, concepts on different units or mix subjects they'll mix physics and chemistry into that right these are five types of questions you'll find but you have 75 questions to choose from only you have to answer 25 you get 50% of the marks out of 200 100 marks can be faced from part c itself if all of them are correct theoretically speaking okay all of them can be correct but practically speaking some of them will be wrong right say five are wrong still you lost how much hardly five marks correct 80 marks you got right so 75 marks easily you can secure the section where you can gain maximum marks is the section where you lose maximum marks so this time you have to prepare intelligently this time you have to prepare with biotechnica this time you have to make sure that you do not do silly mistakes and that is why i am saying 25000 part c questions you have to solve in the next 365 days and then you see magic will happen so my verdict is don't go for a job unless it is a life and death situation you cannot survive without food and there is no money in the banks you cannot you don't have money at all then okay go for the job otherwise you might be the next in the queue okay and for those who want to take a flight from whatever percentile to 99 directly you want to land there then you need the right mentor teachers or biotechnica right study material practice standard books okay and these jokers who are there on youtube you want to waste time with them next year also same story will happen okay so invest in your career reduce the time to prepare maximize the time you do in phd and get a good phd my, my dear friend and then uh, you know get a good job that's what i want 
Okay. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you got your answers. Any more questions, put them down in the comment section. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.